Well, this video is going to be a little different. I'm going to take a break from the wind spinners for a couple of three videos while I'm perfecting some things in my mind and how to take the next step. And this one is an experiment also. This is my own design, if you want to call it that. I uh, was watching some videos with my wife a few weeks ago, and we were watching some uh, some courses, some cooking courses, and one of them was about how to decorate cookies. And this one young lady, she was very good. She was an artist. She had a cookie with a flame on it. And, uh, of course, it was in relief. It, they used that thick frosting, and it was uh, tall and rounded. looked very good. So I wonder if I could make a lid that looked like that on a box. So uh, I went into uh, Netscape and Canva, and I found this graphic of this little flame in Canva. And so what I'm doing, I want to make it look like that cookie. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I got this half-inch piece of wood layered with this, and it's a, a darkish reddish color. It's padoque, or whatever you call it. Anyway, the idea is this half inch, this lid material is quarter inch, and it's going to be raised relief. I'm going to replace the, this piece, of course, with a piece from the half inch, and I'm going to round it over, try to make a nice little flame out of it. This is an experiment. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know if it will make it work. It's also my first time to design this type of box. I used uh, Inkscape. Uh, you see, I've improved my patterns a little bit from the first one. I got that op opaqueness of the of the overlying circles to work correctly in this one. It's a learn as you go because I don't use it very often. Uh, but this is a, a technique to build a box that I learned out of the one book that I've made several uh, boxes out of. And this lady uses this technique to make a lid on a lip on the bottom of the lid that fits over the body of the box. So the key is the external part of the box has to be a little smaller than this inner circle here and these fit on the back of the lid anyway. Uh, I've drilled a tiny little hole there so I can drill that, cut that piece out then I'll cut the outside and uh, then I'll work on this piece and get it glued back in. I may cut a very slight one or two degree angle so I won't have a gap there. And on the on the box body, that's just some construction pine. I'm not going to get into some real exotic woods on this. this. Every bit of this is a piece of scrap that I had from another project. But I'm going to cut the internal, internal piece and then glue it to this and cut the external piece and that'll give me the box body with the with the bottom on it. And like I said, I'm going to cut this flame out and I'll work on that and glue it back into the top of this lid. And this is bigger than the finished product because it's the same size as this outer ring. And I'm going to cut this inner ring and then the outer ring and glue that to the back of this. And then I'll cut that middle ring. And this should fit over the body of the box. If it doesn't, I might have to cut me a different box if I've miscalculated. But that's not a big deal. It's just pine. And, but I think I've got it figured where it'll work. So I'll cut that inner inner circle and the outer circle, glue it to this, and cut around that line. That'll give me the lid with a with a lip on it. That's uh, that size right there. Uh, that should fit over the box. And I'll have everything together then. Some kind of finish on it, or some kind of oil or uh, tongue oil or something. Try to bring this color out. But this is all an experiment. It may not work at all. I may have it all figured wrong. And it may not look like anything when I get through. But stay tuned and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, for this first cut, I've got a number one, a blade in it. And I want a small curve here. I've also got like a very slight angle, maybe one or two degrees. So I need to cut the same direction all the way around. Uh, I'm going to use the outside of the line. It's a very heavy line. I'm not going to worry about the internal part for this round. If this works the way I want it to, I may try a, a multi-layered one later. Uh, for now, then we're just going to experiment. It is kind of a, an intarsia 
segmentation. Actually, it's more intarsia, I guess, but I'm cutting all the pieces at the same time. So anyway, I'm going to cut this first, and then I'll come back and cut this outer ring, and uh, then we'll, I'll have to cut the body and the other stuff and get ready to glue some things together. Okay, so there I've got the box put together. Now, this project was mainly a test of two things. I just had this idea of cutting two different thicknesses of wood and combining them and see what kind of effect I can get. You could do the same thing just by cutting that out of a piece of quarter inch, gluing it to the lid. But uh, I was wanting to test this. I'm sure people do in Tarjo may use different uh, thicknesses of wood. I've, I've never studied it, done a little bit of intarsia, uh, but not a lot, so I haven't really studied it in depth. But this uh, is something I may pursue in the future in some other kind of project. Plus, the other part of this test for me was if I could design a successful pattern that incorporated this underside lip on the, goes on the lid and make those fit and that fits really nicely I did I think I did okay on that part of it that part of it's a success it's kind of a neat looking little box it's nothing fancy I kind of I call it a firebox so uh, this was uh, like I say to me it was experiment uh, some thought uh, thoughts I had and uh, I just wanted to try it out and I'm not unhappy with it, but it's you don't have to go to that much trouble to get that effect. I would do it different if I did it again. I wouldn't put the angle on the cut. Problem is you got a half inch piece of wood and a quarter inch, and when you go three quarter inches deep, it don't take much angle to get way wide at the bottom compared to the top. So I had a lot of trouble getting that together. It was a little bit big, had to do some sanding, and created some gaps I wouldn't have had if I had just cut straight up and down. But that's the learning process and thinking ahead on a project to see what the pitfalls are and I didn't think far enough ahead on that one. But I made it work and it's a neat looking little box. It's all made out of scraps, there's nothing fancy. That's just construction uh, one by eight that I layered. I got a poplar uh, bottom on it and these were all just scraps left over from other projects. So anyway, if you like that, hit the like button. And I'll be trying to experiment with creating some more of my own patterns. This one's very basic, but I wanted to see, because this was simple because it's just circular. When you create the pattern for this, it has to be the mirror image of your lid. So if you have an odd shape, you got to make sure you mirror image it and get them to, get them to match. But uh, that's that was my experimentation to see if I could do it. And I believe that part of it was definitely a success. And I'll try to design some more patterns as I move forward. So if you like that, hit the like button. 
And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe, and I'll see what I can come up with out of my feeble little mind next. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.